Good morning, everyone. Nicole here. And I wanted to share something in my daily meditation book. I love this book. I really do. Every morning at 9 o'clock, I pray. I read um, a few few chapter few chapters out of um the scriptures so that I can meditate on them. I also say my daily affirmation that I have on my vision board and I read out of this book. This is my daily daily meditation book, The Language of Letting Go. It's a wonderful book. And um it just helps me to start my day off great I mean like really great but I wanted to share this one with you and I think I'm not sure if I'm really going to do this but I'm just thinking I'm thinking that every morning I may read out of this daily daily meditation book and you know record it and upload it to YouTube why not so anyway today is March 24th and this entry is called Appreciating Ourselves. We are the greatest thing that will ever happen to us. Believe it. It makes life much easier. It's time to stop this nonsense of running around picking on ourselves. We may have walked through much of our lives apologizing for ourselves, either directly or indirectly feeling less valuable than others, believing that they know better than we do, and believing that somehow others are meant to be here and we are not. We have a right to be here. We have a right to be ourselves. We are here. There is a purpose, a reason, and an intention for our life. We do not have to apologize for being here or being who we are. We are good enough and deserving. Others do not have our magic. We have our magic. It is in us. It doesn't matter what we've done in our past. We all have a past. Women with mistakes, successes, and learning experiences. We have a right to our past. It is ours. It has worked to shape and form us. As we progress on this journey, we shall see how each of our experiences will be turned around and used for good. We have already spent too much time being ashamed, being apologetic, and doubting the beauty of ourselves. Be done with it. Let it go. It is an unnecessary burden. Others have rights but so do we. We are neither less than nor more than. We are equal. We are who we are. That is who we were created and intended to be. And that, my friend, is a wonderful gift. Heavenly Father, help me own my power to love and appreciate myself. Help me give myself validity instead of looking to others to do that I thought that was wonderful and we could all stand to think about this meditate on this a lot of times um, especially this this end here where it says help me to give myself validity instead of looking to others to do that when we depend on others for our happiness or anything, then that's where we become most disappointed. Because it's not up to anyone. I mean, you know, yes, we have our relationships with our family, our friends, our significant others, whether they be boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, whatever. However, they're people too. They're human. Human beings prone to their own 
mistakes, bad choices, or whatever. And if we hang our happiness on them, then we are most miserable. Now, don't get me wrong. Somebody that's in your space, (laughs) you know, um, because we're all connected. And, you know, when you have that one that acts out of the system, then it can tear the system down, you know, like the system in our bodies. If my heart ceases to function properly, it causes something to happen in the system, you know, a heart attack or heart failure or whatever. Okay. Because this is connected with every other organ and things like that in the body. It pumps the blood. So, um, when it ceases to do its job properly, it makes it it's, it's a, a chain reaction for everything else. So that same applies with, you know, us. We're all connected to one another. And when one acts out of the system, then, it, I mean, you know, it affects everybody else. The butterfly effect, you know, if you've ever heard of that, a butterfly flapping its wings over in Africa or something, you know, across the world from where you are. Uh, has an effect on where you are. So, it's understandable. You know, if if something happens where a person is acting out of sorts or whatever the case may be, it can affect you. However, how you respond, not react, because a lot of us do that, we react, but how we respond to that makes all the difference and it doesn't have to you know have you to be out of sorts and in that we stay happy we stay in peace we stay content so that's just my rambling and thoughts for the day And now I am going to continue on to my next, which is uh, my scriptures here. And then meditate on this before 10 o'clock because I have a, my prayer hour is an hour and it's only like 939. But because I read this, I was like, ooh, you know, I want to share this. (laughs) Like I have to share this. So I don't know. This may be an everyday thing. That would be wonderful. Because there's some wonderful things in here. It was one that was really great yesterday. But um, that was yesterday. So I'm not going to get into that. Okay. So you all have a wonderful day. Peace.